In our last video, we saw how we could take an item off of a queue and use an Apache Camel route to compose an email out of that message. In this video, we're going to explore transformations. You see, the email message that we got is a notification that a new plant was added, but it's not very user-friendly because it's just spitting out some text. So we want to grab this message, transform it, make it look like an email, or at least a little bit more like an email, and then we want to generate the email out of it. This requires something that uh, Apache Camel does very well, which is transformation. Transformation. So pull from a from source, a queue, transform the message, put to a to source. This is on honestly going to be very straightforward because any POJO, plain old Java object, can serve as a transformer. Now, if you remember when I made the application, I made a dynamic web application when I made our camel application. And that is so that we could add Java classes, which would serve as transformers. So the first thing I'm going to do is make this transformer class. I'm going to go to source, right click, choose new, and then class. And I'm going to call this one plant email transformer if we want. Uh, okay, package, com.plantplaces.transform is fine. If uh, that happened to be there because I created another class with this package, if not, you can type it in or you can create the package, whichever you prefer. Superclass, Java line object is fine because remember, this is a POJO, a plain old Java object, so we don't need to extend anything. Don't need to extend any interfaces either. I'm going to choose finish. And we get an empty class. Probably want to add some Java doc here. I'm going to make a method public string. And then we'll say do transform. You can name this whatever you want, to be honest with you. String message. So the string message incoming parameter is the message that's getting the message that's coming in and then the string value that's getting returned is the message that's going back out so in other words the input is this parameter the output the input from the queue is this parameter the output to our email is this parameter so i'm just going to make a, a quick and dirty test here i'm going to say return and then we'll say email colon and then we'll say plus message. So I'm just adding a little bit of text as a proof of concept. I'm going to go ahead and save. And then I'll use one of my favorite tricks of Eclipse, which is click on the class name and choose edit, copy qualified name. Now, copy qualified name is going to copy the package name plus the class name. And why do I need this? I need this because I'm going to create a bean configuration for this in my camel config which remember is simply a spring a, a spring configuration file so I'm in that file now let me go ahead and paste so I can paste that fully qualified name into the buffer and then I'm simply going to duplicate another bean tag like so the bean ID is a unique identifier so we don't want to leave it as Q manager we'll call it plant email transformer and then the class, I'm going to grab the fully qualified class name from line 18. So highlight, control X. That was just a temporary uh, place we could put it. And almost there, and control V. We don't need this property in the middle anymore. We don't have any setters, so I'll simply remove that and save. Now we need to add this bean to our camel route. So I'm going to scroll down to our email route. And between the from and the to, probably after the log is fine, but between the from and the to, I'm going to say camel colon bean and then ref equals double quote, double quote. Okay, now what it's expecting here is a spring bean ID, which is this plant email transformer that I have to find on line 18. Now trust me on this, copy and paste, because if not, you'll make a misspelling or a miscapitalization. It's worth copying that bean ID and pasting it right down here. And then method, uh, that's another attribute we're going to have. And method simply says, this is who's doing the work. And what was the name of our method? I think it was called do transform. Again, probably not a bad idea to go ahead and copy that to make sure you don't make a mistype. So I paste and then uh, close off the tag. And I'm going to save, I'm going to restart, and we're going to give this a try. Okay, the server has restarted, so I go to Add New Plant. 
uh, Pinostrobus, Swiss stone pine, that's fine. I go ahead and hit submit. We get our confirmation pretty quickly, which is a good sign. So let me check my email. And sure enough, let's look at the before. This is one of the emails that I generated on, a video, on my last video where we simply got the email wired up. Notice it just has the genus species cultivar. And now here's one from our new transformation. Notice that it adds this text called email. So a modification, albeit a slight one. Now what we'd really like to do is put some structure to this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. In the next video, what we're going to do is instead of just dropping the plant on the queue, we're going to drop some JSON that represents the plant. Then in our transformation, we're going to parse back out that JSON so that we can give some intelligent labels to each of these lines of text. So I look forward to seeing you in that video. Thank you.